going on everybody? It's me, Heracle Spew from the Platinum Hunters and welcome to another episode of What's Popping. We've got quite a bit of pops to show, so hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And the first one up is Claptrap, Gentleman Claptrap actually, number 46. was kind of looking for for a little while now and finally found them today and there goes my eBay next one up injured Daryl number 100 so, um, seeing him I would find other variants of, of Daryl that are a little bit more soft and then finally got one of them they do have a uh, regular barrel with the bow and stuff. Next one up is a little bit, uh, this one was a little bit more pricey, I would say. Um, but I uh, got them from, uh, well these I'm showing now, it's from Collectible Chaos, but that's from uh, Blue Lantern, The Flash, uh, Exclusive Toy, uh, Fugitive Toys Exclusive. This one was a little bit more than you would pay for a regular pop. This is not the metallic one. The metallic one will be on the show in um, once I get it from Pop Culture because I have them on pre-order. But this one I actually have to put into a collective ca uh, protector's case. It was a little bit more. Not by that much, but just enough. This one's just fresh off the line, which is pretty cool. Once I got that, I already had them, but. Freddy Krueger number 224, which is fairly new, this one just fairly came out. There's no series to him. I did ask him if he had the other Freddy Krueger, the one with the hat, but he didn't have them, so. And the box art on that one's actually pretty cool. So, I'm actually might put that one inside a protective case as well, because uh, Wes Craven has passed away uh, about two weeks ago, I think it was, or a week ago. They probably came out with that. This one I just got because I'm not a big fan of Iron Man, but I do like movies and the comics way back then. I'm not a major fan, but I ended up getting because uh, Bob Layton's coming to the city I live in, and I'm actually going to get him to sign it. But it's Iron Man number four, <laughs> old school Iron Man from back in the day. So I'll get Bob Layton to sign that if I get the chance. And next one up is a little bit more of a uncommon. I really don't see him, but he was at the collector shop and it was actually fairly cheap. But Bizarro, it's like a thing from Superman or something. Probably Superman's alter ego and shit. <laughs> alter ego, I mean, uh, opposite or something. Anyways, he comes with a little badge in there that says Bizarro number one. I think he's trying to be better than Superman. I don't know. I kind of don't remember from anything to tell you the truth. <laughs> but that's the first time I see him. That's Bizarro number 64. And last but not least, Zero number 71 Glow in the Dark, which is a little bit more sought after. And he was in a Protector's case at the the, hobby sh uh, the collectible shop. He was already in a, that's what kind of caught my attention. I was like, why is he in a, but yeah. All right, guys, that's episode four for What's Popping. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more pops that I pick up, all my pickups and stuff. And uh, pretty soon I'll be doing a whole collection review uh, thing because you guys, I, I haven't actually showed my whole collection, but I think I'm almost hitting 100 pops, give or take. I don't know. I have to count them. I haven't counted them in a long time, and it's getting really hard for me to start tracking them, uh, seeing the ones I have, the ones I need. Then again, I see every new pop, and I think I don't have it. I buy it, and sometimes I get a double. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later guys.